have washed up in Tangiers, where I won a bar in a dice game. Oh, which is how I met your mother. Don't shoot! Please, I just killed a man and I think my water just broke, so I could really, really use a drink. Gave birth to you right there on that greasy bar. I cut the cord and I've been with your family ever since. The... you... you saw Mother's... Hmm? vagina? Oh my god! Oh! Oh god! Oh, I can't breathe. Don't you know anything about babies? I know you're not supposed to have them on a greasy bar in Tangiers. Oh my god. And I know you're not supposed to let Woodhouse see your lady parts. What? That's why you're so upset? Yes! Ew! Mother, he touches my food! Sterling, he also... Give me that. He also saved my life and yours. Between my narrow hips, your fat head, and a city full of enemy spies, we both nearly died that night. They're sure to come here looking. We should get you somewhere safe. Oh, a few minutes more. I just want to look at him. Isn't he perfect? Aye, that he is. Here, miss. For the baby. <gasps> it's beautiful. Clapped out Arab Hall, traded it for a pint. Said it was Sterling. Sterling? That's what I'll name him. Oh, that's a fine name. And could... Could his middle name be Reginald? No, a little too gay, but... Nix bewegen! Sie sind verhaftet! But how would you like a job? I... I think I would like it very much indeed, ma'am. Oh, my God. And if that weren't enough, that very night he traded his bar for a boat and sailed us to Lisbon, got me to an OSS safe house, sold the boat, used the money to get you both back home to the States, then raised you by himself for five years! What? what You heard me, young man. Your mum's just got home from the war. Give her a proper hello. No! I don't have a mother! And if I did, I'd... I'd hate her! <sighs> wow. You did all that? You, and you've treated him like a dog ever since. But you won't have him to kick around forever. But I already have a father. His name was John Fitzgerald Archer, and he was a fighter ace, and he won the Navy Cross, and his men called Black him... Blackjack Archer. I know, dear, I know. Y because I made it all up. But the military funeral... Hey! Oh, my God. Hey! If we miss that train, I will go blind. Hey! But the 21 gun salute. I donated 600 bucks to a junior ROTC team up in Yonkers, Wh which they used to go to a competition in Albany where they won third place. Wh so a lot of good came out of that. Oh, so all's well that ends well. What was I to do? Tell a three year old his father might be in the KGB? What? What do you mean, might be? So, there may or may not be a few other possibles in the mix. What? Well, if you'd let me... Yeah, tell me how my father might be Nikolai Jakob, well, head of the KGB, just... or Len Trexler, head of Odin. Well... I assume those are my only choices. <clears throat> oh, my... <clears throat> Who else? Gene Krupa. What? No, wait. The drummer? Not Krupa, the other one with the teeth. What? Buddy Rich. Oh, my... I could never say no to a drummer. Could you say no to anybody? I said no to plenty. No. God, you're a natural. Bet it's all that lacrosse at boarding school, huh? Yeah, 13 years worth. 13 years? Why'd she ship you off in kindergarten? <clears throat> Gosh, that must have been tough. No, I, I, I loved it. Um, made a lot of good friends. Family, almost, is, is what they were. Speaking of, how's your mother taking all this? Oh, please, I, I bet she doesn't even miss me. Because he'll be back, crying for his mommy. Just like that Christmas break when I moved and forgot to give my new address to his stupid boarding school. I mean, he rode the train into the city all by himself. He couldn't pick up a phone book. Nine years old and bawling in that police station like a little girl. Huh. What's that tell you? Kind of a lot, actually. Oh, shut up. I bet you're barren. My God. On Christmas. Well, Christmas Eve, technically. Well, but what's the point? Come on, this is stupid. I don't need to see this. I remember all of it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's me. I'm like six. I'm, I'm six today. It's my birthday. And your mother isn't home, is she? No, she had to... 
Look, Guatemala's democratically elected government wasn't going to overthrow itself. Mm, and with Woodhouse, shall we say, indisposed, <sighs> there was no one to give you a birthday present. I... wait. No. Yeah, I, I, I got... The man! I got a... Uh, yeah, I got an alligator. <gasps> Hello, Sterling. Your mother doesn't know I'm here, but I wanted to bring you a birthday present. I hope you like alligators. I do. I did. Thank you, mister. But who are you? Sterling, I'm your real father. <gasps> um, hit me? Busted! And now all the candy is mother's. Cause Crybaby hit on 17 again. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Can't play oh. cards, can't oh. drink. Oh. I don't feel good. What the hell good oh. are you? Oh, God. Not nearly as dangerous as mother finding out I lost my birthday present. Oh. Sterling? Yes, mother? Where is your new bicycle? Oh, no! That's what I thought. Where was I? Oh, yes, and all because you're irresponsible! No, I'm, well, not with the car. Are you... Sterling, you left it unlocked in an unattended garage. I don't, um... She took it. What? Well, not me personally, I... Why would you do that? To teach you a lesson. About what? Life. Just like with that damn bicycle when you were eight years old. I don't, um... She, she took, took it. it. You stole my bike? I came home from work and it was just lying on the sidewalk and I thought, oh, well, this will teach him. Stingray, five speed. But so did you talk to him about responsibility when you gave it back? Gave it back? Wow. You're disgusting. <laughs> what kind of a lesson would that be? Banana saddle, sissy bar. Oh my god. So but Cyril, machines can hurt people. <laughs> what is his deal with robots? I like Servant, call an ambulance. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. An ambulance? He needs emergency surgery. And even then, it'll be a miracle if we can save those testicles. I but what I could have caused think. this? I don't know. Please don't. Mumps? Or who knows? The important thing is, what are you doing tonight? I... Oh. Well, I said I might meet some people at this thing downtown, but it sounded like it'll be pretty heavy on Negroes and jazz, so... I happen to love Negroes and jazz. Oh. Well, then I'll just get my coat. And I'll wait here for the ambulance to take your grievously wounded child to the hospital for emergency surgery. Yes, Woodhouse. And then you can go buy some wax for your cross. Because it looks like you just destroyed my Stuben bar set. Well, you just destroyed my innocence. Oh, please. That Brazilian au pair did that when you were 13. 12. Uh, and since when is he your hero? Since always. He's found it down. I thought that was Richard Petty. Which doesn't even merit a response. And you cannot di You played lax with him, right? You were center middies. Yep. I was biathlon, obviously. Probably could have made the Olympic team, but whatever. Lame. <laughs> and didn't you letter all four years? No. Just three. Are you sure? I am, yeah. Freshman year, I didn't make varsity because that winter I was in the hospital for five weeks. With what? AIDS? <laughs> Pneumonia. From what? Complications from AIDS? <laughs> no, I actually... I actually got it from one of those hilarious swirlies. Hmm? Yeah. My freshman year, you two were seniors. Right before winter break. Anyway, you each had maybe 20 pounds on me, and you cornered me in the field house, and you just laid into me. Come here! And then you got me upside down over the toilet and I started screaming because I looked down and the toilet's full of piss. Whitney had pissed in it, so I'm screaming and you're both laughing and it's all echoing off the tiles. And then Whitney looks down at me with these crazy eyes and he screams at me. You think I won't kill you? And then he punches me hard and I'm choking on the blood from my nose. And then you dunk me and hold me under for, I honestly don't even know. I lost consciousness. But long story short, I didn't make varsity that spring because I was getting over pneumonia, which I got because during that swirly, turns out I aspirated water in my lungs. Well, and presumably urine. Look, our... I mean, was I there for every single recital in lacrosse game? No. Is our adult relationship perfect? No. But I... 
I just can't even imagine life without my precious Sterling. Not like Sterling them. Archer, age 18. The most recruited prep school lacrosse player in America. Visiting Baltimore for the weekend to decide if he will accept a full athletic scholarship to Johns Hopkins. Woo! Yeah, so we don't need to see how... At a stop on the train ride from New York, you struck out the Major League home run champion, Slammer Slow. King! Woo! Well, obviously, I was awesome, but I... Drew the attention of a beautiful woman named Ruth Ann Litzenberger, qui était vraiment une femme fatale, and who followed you here to this very hotel in Baltimore and sent you a note to come to her room. Look, seriously. Woo! Wait, how did you know I was staying? What's going on here? Sterling, will you be the best there ever was in the game? Uh, what? Uh... No! Duh. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know if you're deaf or just an asshole or both, but I'm pretty sure I said I didn't want to see this. But... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, for... Sterling, get your things! We're leaving! Before this quack's office burns to the ground. Uh, uh, uh. Sterling, get your things! We're leaving! Before this cruddy school burns to the ground. Uh, uh, uh. Sterling, get your things! He's gay. Item seven. Oh, you all remember Lucas Troy. No. Oh. What are you talking about? Luke's awesome. He is a kick-ass agent, a great wingman. He can drink Ireland under the table. <laughs> Oh, man. Back when we were training together, we tore it up. Just like his ISIS contract. I train him for a year, and the minute he's worth a damn, he goes to work for Odin. She said, oversimplifyingly. What? And so, congratulations to all our new agents, but especially to our highest scoring recruit, Lucas Troy. Yeah! 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 Luke! Uh, I'm going to work for Odin. Remember that training mission in the DR? Uh, yeah. Uh, tap and trace on the Cuban embassy, and then we got shit housed on Mama Juana. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after you passed out in your room. Uh, yeah. Well, after you passed out, I. Luke, uh, if, if you really do love me. You know I do. Then please don't finish that sentence. Dude, it's my deathbed confession. <laughs> Come on, I'm dying. Well, I'm not, so please. After you don't... passed out, I snuck into your room with a big bottle of suntan oil, put on some Al Green. And no! Can we have the radio?